Snowboarding through the city. Sure, why not? Chrysler apparently copied Hyundai, uh-oh. And then people's privates ended up on the table? What? what? I don't know, uh, I'll tell you. Lamborghini is getting this much closer to producing the Urus, like this much. And the Porsche 718 Boxster is here. Also, it's hump day, so we shall enjoy what the FLD comrades have posted for our midweek segment, Friends Day Wednesday, that's right. Oh. Oh, hi oh. Hello, everyone watching. I'm Derek D, and this is Fast Lane Daily. Thanks for stopping by. Yep. You know when companies are designing and creating a new car, obviously there is competition between designers and engineers. And it usually ends with compromise, but this compromise can make or break a car. Like the Chrysler 200, for example. Boss. Boss. Sergio Marchionne blamed the Chrysler 200's sloped roof line as the reason why the midsize sedan hadn't secured the admiration of consumer reports. I mean, sure, it looks pretty good from the outside, but inside it's an issue, especially for tall people sitting in the back, not a lot of headroom. Marchionne also said that the Chrysler 200 faces these problems because it copied Hyundai. Hyundai. Yeah. Yeah, straight that's up. That's how you say it. Yeah. Here's what he said, quote, the Hyundai which we copied, presumably the Sonata, has the same problem. We, we didn't copy the car, we copied the entry point to the rear seats. Dummies. I acknowledge it. Some people from design left some of their private parts on the table after we came up with that determination. Uh, what? 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 Dude starts starts off talking about sloped roof lines and people's P's and V's are being left on the table. What's going on over there, Chrysler? <laughs> Make a mistake and you get your junk chopped? Jeez, relax, Sergio. Seriously. We get it. You copied a little bit of a design. No need to... Yeah. Oh, God. Right? That was fine. Yikes. Two decades after Porsche introduced the successful Boxster, Stuttgart isn't just changing the name of it to, 7, to the 718 Boxster with the updated model, but also the engine. They're changing the engine. A turbocharged four-cylinder, that's right. Porsche's entry-level Boxster Roadster and Cayman Coupe will have 718 attached to their name, which is referenced to the 718 mid-engine sports cars that won numerous races back in the 1950s and 60s. The regular 718 Boxster will get a 2-liter turbocharged flat 4 producing 300 horsepower, while the 718 Boxster S will get a 2.5-liter, 350 horsepower. Uh, in the 718 Boxster, Zero becomes 60's best friend in 4.5 seconds, and the Boxster S can do it in 4 seconds. It'll go on sale in the U.S. in June for $57,050. That's base form. And then you could throw down $69,450 for the S model. That includes destination. Hey, I'm not mad. I mean, pretty sure Porsche knows what they're doing. Four cylinders are nothing new nowadays, folks. You're getting a lot of power out of those little guys. Big time. Yeah. The start of production for the Lamborghini SUV, the Urus, is still a couple years away. But, hold on a second. In Santa Agata Bolognese, preparations for the company's third model have already begun. The existing 80,000 square meters production site will almost double in size to 150,000 in order to accommodate the new assembly line for the SUV. Lamborghini production is expected to double at approximately 5,000 to 6,000 vehicles annually once the Urus will join the lineup in 2018 as the third vehicle, along with the Huracan. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And the Aventador. That's right. There you go. Three models. Okay. Three new models. Not new, but the Huracan's new. Northeastern snowstorm, the Northeastern snowstorm, Jonas, made it pretty hard to get around this past weekend here in New York City and Jersey, but not for filmmaker and YouTuber Casey Neistat. Neistat? I say his name right? Neistat? Sure. Casey. Casey Neistat, yeah. He hooked up a tow line to a Jeep Wrangler and snowboarded through New York City streets. Had a skiing buddy join him as well. Pretty cool, but you know what? It's nothing new. I've done this before, as I'm sure many of you have. I just didn't do it through New York City or have multiple camera angles and a drone to get some sick-ass shots. My favorite part, though, is at the end, when the NYPD pulls them over and they say something along the lines of, uh, someone complained about you guys, so we're just making it look like we're talking to you. <laughs> yeah, which I thought was pretty cool of them. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, they weren't breaking any laws. 
Well, technically you were. You're not allowed to do that. And then there was also a ban on driving on the streets. Was there? Pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, there was. Classic. But you can't really snowboard on the streets during traffic hours, which... I mean, yeah, pretty hard to do. Pretty hard to do. Uh, when there's no snow, really hard to do. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and hang out with some FLD fans for Friends Day Wednesday. First, real quick, let me just say, get well to big FLD fan uh, at West Ride. He tweeted us that he was in the hospital with pneumonia. It says he's still watching the show, and there he is in the hospital. So get better, Wes. That's all right? dedication right there. Yeah. Uh, you guys know we use a lot of pics uh, that you send in of wrong, terrible badges on cars. Like, take this Acura RSX Nissan 370Z Nismo edition, sent in by Andrew Moreno. Yeah, that's terrible. It's not real. Why would you do that? It makes no sense. Disgusting. Yeah. Well, FD fan Christopher DeCaro here came up with a great term to coincide with this phenomenon. Uh-oh. Douche badgery. Oh, man, that's great. Douche badgery. Good job, Chris. Much appreciated. We will use that from now on. Now, the complete opposite of douche badgery is when someone does something clever, like this. Yeah. Sega Genesis. That's right. On a Hyundai Genesis. Sega Genesis was my console back in the day, boy. 16-bit and all. Yep. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, he can really move. That's right. Anyway, thanks to FLD fan Fred Lorman for that one. Sega Genesis. Also, I don't mind this, this BMW truck. It's a project car that FLD fan Ray Molina, right here, he's putting together. It's pretty interesting. It's like a three series in the front and a pickup truck in the back. And once it's all painted the same color, probably it'll look pretty cool. I mean, it's weird, but it's, you know, he's building it, so good for you. Uh, the Detroit Auto Show just ended, so of course, we get some fan pictures with the lovely Fiat model Megan. Fiat model and spokesperson Megan. Um, yeah, she knows her stuff. Here's Ben Snyder with a Hoonigan shirt on. Nice. We'll pick with Meg. Also, Cesar, Cesar Perez snapped a pic as well. Yep, Meg's a babe. Truly is. Glad you guys didn't do the old hover hand. You oh, know? that's so awkward. Yeah, they didn't. They went for it. You got to always go for it. Around, yeah. yeah, a little advice to you guys out there. Never do the hover hand. Always just go for it, okay? But keep it in appropriate, uh, appropriate location. Don't put it on her ass. Nope. Also, Tommy Bitterman took Detroit, uh, took Detroit Auto Show rug testing duties for me this year. And Beth, there he is. Yeah. He, he said it was very comfortable. Oh. Glad to hear. Because we couldn't make it this year, so it's good that people are out there you know, doing this stuff for it's us. It's important. It is important. Um, if you were wondering if your flight is canceled, well, yeah, this truck said it is. Oh. Yeah, right in the back. Flight's canceled. Amazing. Flight's canceled. Thanks, FLD fan John Thornton for that. Yeah, your flight's canceled. <laughs> Next is Chad Lakshman. Chad Lakshman. He sent us an email with a link to this video. Yeah, a dude washing his Mercedes CLA in the rain with some dirty on the ground rainwater. He's taking the brush, putting it in the water, right? On the... Are you kidding me? Dude, I mean, that's a doing it wrong right there. Yep. Uh, FLD fan David Newfield. David Neufeld captured this thing driving by. Uh, what is that? It's like a half car. Looks like someone, you know, stepped on the front and smushed in the back. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But he caught it. Uh, FLD fan Syed Torre here. Check out his grandma straight dripping in swagoo as she fills up her C63 AMG at a gas station. Well done, Grams. I mean, maybe it's his car. I don't know if it's definitely her car, but she's chilling there, just filling it up. That grandma's on point. With all the snow here in the Northeast, we could have used this jacked up El Camino plow. I tell you, that's 100% American badass with a full throw some hammers back there option. Nice. I'd rock that to the quick. Dallas Owens sent in that awesomeness. Hey, Erica. Yeah. Speaking of TSHBT, which we know, of course, means throw some hammers back there. Of course. Andy Lizanoff pointed out this new Napa commercial which just came out about, a, about small beater pickup trucks, which I think is great. I mean, I have one myself. But at the 34 second mark in the commercial, check this out. What? That's our thing, Napa. You can't just throw some hammers back there. We invented that. You have to throw, throw a hammer in the back of the truck. We need to be compensated for that. I feel like someone saw FLD and, come on, I mean, come on, man. We've been it's doing that for right. years. Copyright. That's our thing. Yep. 
and that commercial just came out. Look at the date. We'll put the link in the description. Anyway, thank you, friends. Ooh. Ugh. Heat it up now. A lot of Friends Day Wednesday stuff today. Yeah. We we're packed. All right. I appreciate everything, all the posts, guys. All right, our FLD question of the day is, do you think Chrysler should have admitted they copied a design element from Hyundai? Now, or, on the other hand, do you think it's admirable that Sergio was like, yeah, we, uh, we sort of just copied their design. We thought it looked good. We admit it. And then people's private parts ended up on the table. I don't know. Honesty is a great quality. Yeah, it is. I don't know. Hashtag FLDQ of the D. Let us know what you think. All right? And you can send your own in to... Tips at VaselineDaily.com. Thanks, Tom. We got a digital AK? Uh, yeah. Is he here? Tips at VaselineDaily.com. Sweet. It's a twofer. All right. Well, half this week is over, and so is this episode of Fastlane Daily. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll do it all again for you tomorrow. Manana. Yep. What's tomorrow in uh, German, Tom? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Napa know how. Napa know how to not copy Fastlane Daily with throw some hammers back there. I think that's the tagline, Napa know how. Right. Yeah. I knew that. All right, well, that's how I was getting at. You're so funny. Ow, we're living in the Fastlane, baby.